What's good, everybody? Praise the Lord. What's up, fam? It's your boy, Pastor Kyrie Richard, with the IPYP president from the West Coast. And I'm just so elated and excited for you to join us tonight in the IPYP universe. You don't know what time it is. I need you to hit the share button. I need you to, amen, shout out and rep your various councils as we uh, share some much needed information about this upcoming uh, festivities, this week's festivities taking place in Columbus, Ohio. So definitely join the conversation. On the West Coast, I know it's still pretty early. The Lakers should just get started uh, in the first quarter on the East Coast. A little bit late, but we know you guys are up, uh, flicking it up and all that kind of good stuff. So um, please join the conversation tonight. Hit the share button. Let's us know exactly where you're joining the broadcast from tonight. We are so excited that we are on literally um, the eve of our uh, IPYPU Empowerment Conference, the 90th celebration of the IPYPU. IPYPU and uh, we certainly are just excited about the opportunity that we have to celebrate the wonderful legacy of IPYP. And certainly I hope that uh, you by now have your game plan, your roadmap, uh, you have your funds and uh, your transportation all locked in to make uh, your way to Columbus, Ohio to be with us for the Empowerment Conference. And we're anticipating an awesome move of God. I'm, I'm amped, y'all. I'm excited. This is, uh, I think, one of the first experiences we've had in person um, post-pandemic. So this is an opportunity for us all to come together all across the country. So again, I need y'all to show some love right now. Get in the comment section. Again, let us know where you're watching this broadcast from. Hit the share button as we share some important details about the upcoming Empowerment Conference taking place April the 26th to 29th in Columbus, Ohio at the Church of Christ, Amen Church on Brittendale, Amen host pastor Bishop Harold Rayford. Again, we welcome you in tonight. We're excited about all the great things that God is doing. We certainly have some giveaways tonight, so I need you to plug and rep your council, right? Um, your Young People's Department, your state president, but above all tonight, we're using the hashtag, hashtag EC90. EC90, Empowerment Conference, Night of Celebration. We made a step for you tonight. So EC90, we want to see it all up and down the timeline. Let's do our part, amen, to make sure that, amen, the word is out, that everybody has all the information necessary uh, to enjoy this wonderful occasion, amen, as we celebrate the IPYPU, all right? Now, I have some help tonight, some help from my friends, and taking us behind the scenes on this library and the awesome event that we have planned this upcoming week. Our Empowerment Conference are none other than our programming chair one of our programming chairs and the person other Marvin Brindry as well. Hey, what's going on, Reverend? How you doing? Crazy, sir. How are you, man? <laughs> From the great state of Illinois, man. How yes, you feeling? Sir. Man, I'm I'm feeling well. I just saw Jimmy Butler go for 50, man. So it's already a good night so far. <laughs> Good deal, good deal, good deal. We're so glad to have you representing the programming team tonight. Shout out to the programming team, all those who, again, are working feverishly to make sure we have an awesome experience. We're also joined tonight by the third wing of our three amigos, amen, uh, uh, tonight in the person of Pastor Diamond P. Robinson, Hoban's Faith Tabernacle, Katy, Texas. What's going on? <laughs> all is well, all is well. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glad to be here. Good deal. For those that don't know, Pastor Diamond serves as our IPYPU convention manager, and he works uh, just tirelessly every year. He and his staff and team to make sure that we have all the accommodations ready um, to go in the great state of Ohio as we make this journey, y'all. We're definitely, definitely, definitely excited and uh, looking forward to an awesome, awesome time in Columbus. Again, the hashtag tonight is EC90, EC90. And we do have something for all of you all. They hit the comment section, they hit the share button. We do have something for you all, something special. Last time we were in the IPYP universe, I have to do the reveal right now, right? So uh, the winners, uh, the takeaway, all right? The winners of the, of the prize last time in IPYP universe, uh, shout out to our vice president, the MVP. Uh, Evangelist Jack McConnell. It was the state of Oklahoma, the Oklahoma uh, State Council of Churches, Fellowship of Churches. Shout out to Bishop Goldsmith and their wonderful council. They took home the prize last time. And the prize for the Oklahoma State Council is $150 that goes toward their PYPU. All right. So again, we want you to rep your council. Amen. We want to give back. All right. So we're, we're going to bless that council with some funds. Who knows? It may sponsor a pizza party. It may sponsor and whatever the young people need at the moment, some t-shirts, something like that. You name it. Um, but again, rep your council. All right. I want to hear from Texas. I want to hear from Florida. I want to hear from Cali. I want to hear from you, wherever you may be enjoying this broadcast from. Hit the share button and let us know where you're enjoying the broadcast from. But above all, hit the hashtag EC90 as we discuss all things. All right. Empowerment Conference tonight. Fellas, are y'all excited? 
I'm ready. Yes, Very sir. excited. Can't wait to get to Ohio. It's go time. It's go time. This has been um, uh, a celebration that's been a few years in the making. Um, our former president, Evangelist Freedom Morrison, shout out to Evangelist Morrison and, and the um, Pennsylvania uh, Council, State Council, um, had this vision of bringing this all together in the 90th. There was a, a sense of frustration in the pandemic because we couldn't do anything besides virtual programming. But we are back, y'all. We are back. We need to see you in Columbus, Ohio. So I'm going to yield to our programming director, Elder Marvin Benbury Jr. You would take us through just some of the highlights of the program, just so everybody kind of is aware of some of the things that are going on this upcoming week in Columbus. Exciting week of ministry. We're starting on Wednesday night. All right. Wednesday night, y'all, is when it all pops off. Right. So go ahead. Take us through it, uh, Dr. Martin. Uh, let us know what we can anticipate uh, coming up in Columbus. Yes, yes. So we cannot wait for everybody to get to Columbus. We believe God's going to do something just incredible there uh, in Columbus, Ohio. So if you are anywhere near or if you can get there, you need to get there because God's going to do something incredible. Thursday or Wednesday night, I'm sorry, Wednesday night, we have former IPYPU president and now is a bishop in the Lord's Church, Bishop Howard Tillman preaching Wednesday night. He is a powerful preacher, a legend. You go check out his old YouTube. I won't say old YouTube, but go check out his YouTube. <laughs> powerful preacher. Um, and that's Wednesday. Wednesday leads us right into Thursday. We are bringing back the prayer room. We are bringing back the prayer room. This is something the IPYPU has done for years and years. And so we're bringing that back. And the first person leading us in prayer on Thursday morning is none other than uh, Bishop LaBelton Daniels, who is going to lead us in prayer there. From there, we are going to have drive through prayer there at the church as we try to touch our community um, and do something that the IPYPU has been doing for years and years. Um, <clears throat> after that, lunch. Go get you some food, um, go chill out. We're going to have a, a great time. Then we're coming right back after lunch with Pastor Tanya Harris and Evangelist Sequoia Porter. Um, <clears throat> if you are anywhere in the Midwest or in the PAW, you have heard of the legendary TM camp. It is where thousands of people have come and their lives have been changed. She is a powerful woman of God. She last spoke for the IPYPU uh, when we were in Indianapolis on a right, Saturday. Right. And man, she tore up the entire, she didn't get to preach. Right. Um, she it up. And so we have our daughter with us and they're going to be talking about don't drop the ball as we're in kind of this transition period where we're seeing uh, a changing of the guard happening uh, in the natural but as well as in the spiritual. This is going to be key that we cannot drop the ball as God is passing it to this next generation here at the 90th. And so uh, that's something that's going to be great. Then after that, we got a star-studded panel, a star-studded panel. We have none other than Elder David Hollis. We have Evangelist Frieda Morrison. And then we have two people who we've identified who are some of the best of the YPU presidents, um, Austin Tyree, as well as Carlton Amos from Indianapolis, uh, who will be on this Generation Greater Works panel as we go through that, then we give you a little break, go back to the hotel, take a nap, grab you something to eat, and get back, get back in time for Thursday night. We have none other than Prophetess Barbara Calloway. She is preaching everywhere, all over the country, all over the world, and chose to be with the IPYPU, uh, and she is going to wreck. If you like church, if you believe in God, if you know somebody <laughs> who needs God, Right, be in this service. I don't care if you gotta drive four hours away, get here to this service because Prophetess Barbara Calloway is going to deposit something great in the atmosphere. Then we follow that up, right? We gonna let you do whatever you gonna do. Uh, we follow that up Friday morning. We run in the prayer room back again. Yeah. Prayer, everything we do, right, is based in prayer. And so we got Pastor Angela Taylor, who's gonna be leading us in prayer. Following that, immediately following that, we know y'all gonna be hungry. Y'all want some food. <laughs> so we have a breakfast. It is free to everybody who registered. Hear me, free to everybody who registered. Um, we are gonna have a great breakfast. This generation of generation breakfast with Bishop Gators, 
and he is going to deposit something powerful into our spirits and you're going to get chicken and waffles eggs uh you're going to get juice and it's going to be a great time um so we want you to have this taste of, of ohio and we have uh, a special caterer who's coming in um, who's going to do all of this so if you like chicken if you like waffles if you like eggs if you like breakfast, <laughs> get on up <laughs> get on up and get to that session then after that we have none other than the preacher himself the yeah. preacher pastor jared purdue uh with our midday worship service he is another former ipypu uh president we got ipypu presidents all over here we got bishop howard tillman hollis frida uh let me call him by the touch bishop howard tillman evangelist <laughs> david hollis, uh or elder david hollis evangelist Frida morrison pastor jared purdue um, he's going to be preaching this midday session from 11 to 12 30. Then we're going to hop into lunch. We come back behind that with Forced into the Future with Serving Bishop John Slaughter, who is one of the youngest Serving Bishops in our organization. He is a former state president uh, there in the Michigan Council and a powerful man of God uh, who has a great testimony. After that, we come right back with another bishop in our organization, Bishop Brian Hamilton, yeah. uh, who has been an IPYPU leader uh, yeah. in the past, and he is going to give us a charge to keep in a changing world. Then we give you a long break, a long break, and we follow that right back up with none other than son of the PAW, Pastor Brandon Flack, the the preacher of preachers right now. He if if he is on your flyer, you got something good going on. Um, <laughs> uh, Pastor Brandon Clack is going to deposit a word. I know he's excited to be back home with us. He just preached uh, at our convention last year, and so we were excited uh, to bring him back. He he was happy to, to be with us and responded right away like, "Hey, I'm I want to rock." Um, and so there is going to be power deposited in that service. Then after that. Um, and this is a small change from uh, what we see there on the screen. But after that, we are going to the Gahana Lane, where for $15, you can bowl all night. You don't have to get your own shoes. Um, they'll have shoes there for you, but you can bowl all night, and we can have a great, wonderful time. Then, Saturday. Everybody say Saturday. Saturday. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. I, I, I need to talk back to Everybody say Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, yeah, uh, hey, yeah. Um, on Saturday, um, I, don't, I don't hit the same as on Sunday, but uh, <laughs> on Saturday, we will have various ministers who then lead us in the prayer room. Christian Education is going to do a dual session uh, for those who are in the house as well as virtual. Uh, and this is with Dr. Patricia Height, and this is going to be a powerful session that we can't wait for you to be there for. And then at 12, everybody say, and then at 12, we will have our IPYPU current president. We've heard from the Holland. We've heard from Bishop Tillman. We've heard from Evangelist Morrison. We've heard from Pastor Derek Purdue. But now at this 90th celebration, one of the best preachers this side of heaven, he is a powerhouse hailing from California. He is now our current IPYPU president, a man of God who is serious about the things of God, and he is a real preacher, right? Let me tell y'all something about this one. Uh, as IPYPU president, he could have preached this, um, and we had to beg him and tell him time and time again. I said, text me, I said, hey, bro, we thinking about you. He said, no, look at somebody else. I said, no, we looking at you. I said, man, <laughs> We say, for the 90th man, you being our current president, leading us into this next uh, administration, leading us into what God has for us now, there's no better voice um, than to have our very own Pastor Kyron Shorter close us out. And we are so glad about that. So uh, if you're anywhere near, I need you to drive there. If you got to walk, I need you to walk there. If you need to Uber there, right? <laughs> Charge it on the card, Uber there, and get to this service, um, get to the entire conference. Also, uh, what's happening is we have various young ministers 
who are going to get an opportunity to preach uh, during our first word session. Um, powerful uh, young men and young women of God who are going to be layered all throughout um, our organization, all throughout the Midwest, as we are excited about the future of our organization. Um, and so you're going to get a chance to hear many of them uh, during our first word. So uh, we can't wait for you to be here. We can't wait for you to see what God does. Um, and I guarantee you this, if you come and you are expecting God to do something for you, he is going to meet you at the area of your expectation. So that's that's what we got. We can't wait for y'all to get here because um, God's going to do it. God's going to do it. We praying. We're, uh, we're all fasting um, on Wednesday. And so I just can't wait for God to show up uh, and, and do that which only he can do. So I can't wait to see you. I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. This is, uh, man, this is... I believe going to be a awesome experience. Um, we had a time in Charlotte, y'all. You know, we're at the workers' conference. I just believe every round goes higher and higher, and I am looking forward to the remarkable time in Columbus, Ohio. Shout out to the ODC, UIPU. I think I see Pastor Tubbs in the comment section, and all of those again, y'all. Shout out your councils. Those are where you're watching this broadcast from. Hit the share button, and hey, man, we're looking forward to awesome experience in Columbus as we celebrate 90 years of the IPYPU. Pastor Diamond Robinson, what about you? Hey Amen. what about the programming thus far excites you? I mean, there's something that stands out to me that says, you know what, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm just looking forward to the fellowship. Um, this pandemic has done a lot to take us away from each other. So I'm just looking forward to being able to be with my brothers and sisters. I'm looking forward to this prayer service. I'm looking forward also to hearing the next voices that are in our organization. Um, the PAW can pride itself, and I'm so glad to be a part of a body that is so diverse. So I'm excited to hear the next voices of the young people in this organization, those who have a relevant word. Um, I'm looking forward to the downloads in the sessions. I'm, I'm, I got a notebook ready. So um, actually it's right here. So I'm ready <laughs> to fill this up um, with some information. So I'm looking forward to the day sessions. I think a lot of times when we go to these conferences, we're only looking at the night speakers, but there is so much that takes place during the day. Some of the best nuggets that you can receive are in these sessions. So I'm looking forward to being able to get into the sessions, get the downloads. I'm looking forward to uh, Pastor Tanya Harris. I'm, I'm, I'm coming pre-ready. Like I'm not even going to wear some loose garments because I don't know what's going to happen there. But, uh, <laughs> but um, I, I'm really just looking forward to the fellowship of the saints. When you've been out of church, um, um, when you've been out of church for a while, it, it's hard to, you know, to be around the saints. And so good question, Brother Brooks. Um, so we get, you have a registration bag that comes to you. You also have access to the breakfast. Uh, you also have access to the services. Um, I think they've got some trinkets in the bag. Um, now we do know, we do know, um, hold on, we got disconnected from Facebook. Let me see if I can. Uh, Pull us back. We got okay. disconnected. Uh, from Facebook, we're on, on YouTube, um, but uh, we'll try our best to reconnect. But there is, uh, I don't know if it's because of the music. Uh, let's see. Mm. Oh, it's the issue on Facebook's end. Okay. But we're live on YouTube still, so uh, okay. we can redirect. But uh, I'm looking forward to all of that. So, uh, yeah. So now going back to the like destination we added. Huh? Okay, we're working on uh, all the stuff in the background uh, to see if we can get back up on Facebook to our YouTube church. We say praise the Lord, <laughs> the YouTube fellowship. <laughs> Amen. But to answer Zion's question, you know, back back last year we offered um, the registration that was our Black Friday registration that included three events for one um, in Charlotte. If you came to the Charlotte experiences, you had Top Golf experience, you got the photo shoot. You got bag, you got merchandise, um, you got all the stuff that you normally get with your registration. Um, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal, I think, um, benefits those who register. And that's been one of the things that we wanted to do, you know, down through the years is just make sure we beef up registration. Um, so registration this year, as Pastor you know, Robinson's already explained, it includes your registration bag. Uh, we got a t-shirt for you. Um, we've got um, other merchandise for you that's commemorative of the 90 year experience. In the chat as well, we also have, again, the, the breakfast that's part of the registration as well as transportation we've got transportation that we're going to be using uh to get the constituents back and forth uh, from the host hotel uh back to the 
um, to the to the to the church. So there's a lot of things that come up registration this year. Um, and certainly hope that um, you will contribute and commit to doing so. If you go to any one of our social media pages, you'll see a link to register. So we're looking forward to seeing which councils, amen, show love and support to IPYPU. You can register right away and be a blessing uh, to the IPYPU on this night of experience. Again, again, we're in, amen, the, the IPYPU universe tonight. So I need you to hit the hashtag EC90 so that you can, amen, uh, get all the information about what's going on with the upcoming empowerment conference. So back to you, Pastor Diamond, you know, when it comes to convention management, what are some things that you're working on just to make sure that our consumer experience is good and that those who are coming um, to Columbus have a wonderful experience? There's some things your team's working on and share us a little bit about what's happening behind the scenes so people kind of know what we're working on to make sure that this is a great, great, great experience for all of our constituents uh, coming to Columbus. Um, we're definitely wanting to be sure, um, well, first let's get us reconnected. So no I'm in the process of reconnecting. So give me just a second. Yeah, no problem. We'll, no problem. Uh, no problem. Uh, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll chime in a little bit while you're working on that. But um, yeah. I know behind the scenes, you know, we are working, you know, shout out to Suffolk and Bishop Health Rayford. Um, their team yeah. has just gone above and beyond. I know you know this, Pastor Marvin, um, answering questions for us, one off the red carpet. Yeah, yeah just doing everything possible. Uh, just to make sure that when we come, you know, we have full access to the facility. If you've never been there before, it's a remarkable facility. And um, they've um, done everything to make sure that we have um, utilize, utilization of the technology to make sure that we have um, the in-person experience on, on, on 100, as well as those who can't join us for various reasons, be able to have the uh, versatility, be able to support them logistically who are supporting us virtually. So for those who even register, there's going to be special links to some of our sessions so that you can, you know, enjoy some of the content that's happening, even though you're not physically in Columbus with us. So uh, those are some of the things we're working on right now. Um, did you have any deals? We still, we still push you through some things or um yes well we are <laughs> okay. so, no problem actually, so we're reconnected welcome back everybody um we got disconnected briefly uh so we're, this is the pre-con talk um so this providing a better experience for all the constituents that are coming in hopefully everybody's coming in with a great expectation for god to move in ohio god is getting ready to do some great things and i, I must admit some some pretty fantastic things happen when we come to the midwest i don't know if it's in the in the, in the water or the fact that y'all don't have nothing else going on but church be real good and so i can't feel no no but i am really excited about what god's getting ready to do for us in the midwest and i know that ohio represents really hard um and so we just want to make sure that all the all the constituents have a good experience if you need anything on site please reach out to me as your convention manager it's my job to make sure that everything runs smoothly for you all so for the events that we have on site and off site we want you to take part in it we're going bowling we're gonna have a good time drive through prayer if you've never participated in an outreach event this is a part of why, why we do what we do right. and so we want you to take part in what the outreach and the evangelism has you never know somebody might get saved because of what you say the word that you may speak and so we want you know to see a greater participation in our day services as well as our outreach and evangelism i that's that's my ask um but as a convention manager you know as far as experience we're going to be asking you um you're going to have opportunity to give your feedback on the sessions and the seminars that you go to because we want to make sure that we are providing you with useful information it's one thing to come but i know listen if i'm driving or if i'm flying across the country i want to make sure it's worthwhile pastor so I want to make sure that we have sessions. We want to make sure uh, niche management as well as programming and, and the staff, I'm sure, would say that we want to make sure that we're making this worth your while. So we're looking forward, though, to a move of God. So prayerfully, everybody's coming with an expectation yeah. for God to move. Yeah. No, it was important. I know we talked about this, Pastor Marvin, about the constructs of how you program for a celebration like this, because you can get so um, factuated with the history of the IPYPU um, that you just want to pay homage to the past. But I think we did an intentional job this time around of making sure that not only do we reflect where we've been, but where we're going. And um, I really think that's important um, as a body of young people, um, as we look at as an auxiliary, one of, I think one of the strongest and driving auxiliaries of the IPYP, and most importantly, the future. When you think of the future of the IPYPU, the future of the leaders that come from the IPYPU, our constituents go on to do great things in the parent body. 
Talk about what some of those challenges were. Talk about some of those dynamics and making sure that we have a reflective look, but also a futuristic look in totality of the Rocky Rock and Yeah, this <laughs> absolutely. <clears throat> there is such great history in the organization, and we had to make sure that we pay homage to that. Um, and I think we did that a little bit. I, I was just writing this down. We got um, at in one conference, we have five different IPYPU uh president five different ipypu president in one conference and so uh, i know we we highlighted many of them earlier but we got bishop tillman and we have elder david hollis and evangelist Peter morris and pastor purdue and now pastor shorter and so we absolutely wanted to make sure that they could speak to much of what this organization has been in but also we got some of the, the leading um young voices in our organization speaking we have multiple state presidents we have multiple state presidents who have just stepped out of office or are still continuing um right elder slaughter was a former state president in michigan demetrius phillips i think is the current state president in michigan um he's going to be speaking he's one of our first word speakers uh tyree yeah. is the state president there uh in ohio currently uh, Elder Denzel Tubbs, who is going to be in seeing one of our services, is the former, immediately out, state president there. So for the balance between what this organization is seeing, um, as well as where we're going in the future, is is kind of perfect. And then that can all kind of be encapsulated in our Generation Greater Works panel. In our Generation Greater Works panel with uh, Elder Hollis, Evangelist Morrison, but also with Carlton Amos, who's the current Indiana president, um, and Austin, who's the current Ohio state president, as as those two, two different perspectives um, as how we go forward, right? As an organization, our rich history is great, but it means nothing if the ball is dropped, right? right? So that's why we even got Pastor Tanya Harris, but not only Pastor Tanya Harris, we got our daughter, Evangelist Porter, um, who is leading uh, the charge there and taking TM camp even further um, than what it has been. So we, we were intentional about looking for voices that were current in their day and are still current, but also the voices that are emerging, the emerging voices, if you say it that way, uh, the voices that are going to carry weight as we go forward. So um, with everything we were looking for balance, we're looking to bring generations together. So, um, right. I think you'll see that really well. No, definitely, definitely. I think one of the one of the challenges, uh, as well as for those that don't know, this empowerment conference is part of a two year journey. So we're going to be celebrating after what we nine years, kind of like how Disneyland does and how they have celebrations over two year period. That's exactly. Shout out to uh, Elder Stewart Styles. What's going on, y'all? Again, rep your city, rep your state, your old your your council. Let's know where you're enjoying the broadcast from. Um, we certainly want to make sure that, you know, as many people as possible get everything we need to know as we're li literally days away from the Empowerment Conference. And so we're running down everything, giving you as much information as possible. But one of the challenges, I think, in a conference like this is trying to do the most. And uh, we want it to be an opportunity for us to have fellowship and to re-engage, but also make sure we have meaningful ministry. Um, and that's one thing that we're attempting to do in Columbus. Again, it's a two-year celebration. So all along the two-year process, we're, we're planning to be on the West Coast. We're planning to be international, all right? We're planning to be on the East Coast, we are in the Southeast. We plan to make our way all across this great country, even all across this great world, sharing the impact of, of the 90th. So if there's somebody you don't see this particular time, you wonder, oh, why do you see this person? Trust me, by the time we get finished with this two-year experience, uh, we plan to have as many of our former uh, uh, national leaders a part of the programming to make sure that we again touch every part of this great organization, every part of this great, um, um, uh, uh, you know, North America as well as as well as across the country. So again, we're looking forward to it. Amen. <laughs> Shout out again to Elder Styles. Hey man, you can't help it. We're coming to St. Louis, y'all. And that, here's the crazy part, y'all. <laughs> when y'all really consider not just Charlotte, Charlotte, I mean, was bananas. Columbus is going to be bananas. And then in the middle of it, the PW is like, okay, you got to give us what you're, what you're going to do in, in St. Louis. So if y'all are seeing what's happening, I think right now it's a really good stretch of programming. Well, I do have to you as far as keynotes, as far as presenters, as far as diversity. So we hope that this 90 year experience gives us a chance to get old school and new school together for us to really, really celebrate where we've been, 
where we're going and everything in between. So you definitely want to be with us in Columbus. And uh, Diamond, talk about the significance of Columbus. Talk about the significance of, of Columbus. Why Columbus? Because as a convention manager, Columbus is probably not, the, you know, it's hard, to, you know, but let's talk about culture. Let's talk about <laughs> Columbus and why well, we have Columbus, to- believe it or not, the Church of Christ of the Apostolic Faith is the location of the first ever IPYPU convention over 90 years ago. So we oh. wanted to go back where it first started. We thought it, it, we deemed it not robbery, as the deep people would say, to go <laughs> back to where it started. But not only that, this church is so full of history. The Church of Christ of the Apostolic Faith is the birthplace of Eman Bible College. And so wow. it's so amazing that we're here and we're going to a place that's so full of rich apostolic Pentecostal PAW history. We're going back to the birth. And it's almost like, you know, the projects have Memphis, uh, the UPC, they have, uh, they're actually based in St. Louis. Hazel Wood, Missouri. <laughs> yeah, Hazelwood. <laughs> we have, technically, we have Columbus for the IPYPU. And so we're yeah. excited about the fact that we can go back where the rich history began over 90 years ago. And the fact that we're still going strong after 90 years, that's something to be commended. We yeah. are the, one of the leading apostolic Pentecostal organizations in the world. And I'm so excited because we have constituency um, in Jamaica, in uh, the European Council of Nations, the uh, the uh, Bahamas, West uh, Bahamas, Turks and Caicos Council, thriving councils that sometimes we don't think about, but all of them, if you look at it, they all come out of Columbus, Ohio, the vision that was birthed in Columbus. And it's almost like, again, you plant a seed and one seed has a potential to grow an orchard. The seed of the IPYPU has birthed so many ministries, so many churches. Even thinking about the crusades that were done, where churches were established in Montgomery and Meridian and across the, the nation, look at what God has done. And so we're coming back, yes, to worship the Lord, but also to pay homage to yeah. our forefathers, not forgetting where we came from, but we're reaching forward to where we're going. So I believe that Columbus was absolutely one of the best places for us to go to acknowledge this, this rich history of the IPYP. So I'm, I'm definitely, again, excited. And I, I found out that the hotel that we're staying at is not too far from some good places to eat. I Googled it today. There's a Waffle House nearby. So thanks to God, <laughs> we have somewhere to go after church. Hallelujah. So um, we are grateful. Stuart, praise the Lord, I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> not surprised. Man. I'm not surprised. Yeah. So, and hopefully the Waffle House for the Midwestern District Council. And you know what? Elder Styles is doing a wonderful job. If you ever seen anything that they're doing, the Midwestern Council is on the move. But I can't talk about any other council, but the Texas State Council. (laughs) is almost as good as the Illinois District Council. In the Lone Star State. And uh, I have to give a great shout out to our illustrious president, Minister Brittany Massenberg. She's doing an excellent job here in Texas, in the great state of Texas. But we, we ain't forgot about you, Stu. And all the PYUs that are yeah. across. I'm looking forward. There's some great things, Pastor Kyron, that we see in our organization. And what I like is that every council is a little different. Every council has its own little twang to it. So um, I got to shout out. Yeah, I got to shout out the West Coast. The West Coast is trying Shout them out. Shout them out. Three, three new uh, state presidents. Actually, four. There's a new president we have in uh um, in Mountain States Council, shout out to uh, Sister Younger. Uh, AZ is who, home. Uh, AZ is home. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. took over. Took over there. Pacific Northwest. Shout out to uh, Sister Angelica Witherspoon, um, who was the PYP president for the Pacific Northwest District Council. Up north, we have a minister, uh, Pastor Christopher Gibson, who took over for the North Bishop um, uh, Jones and that council in the North District Council Central. Uh, Brother Nicholas uh, took over uh, for Central California Council. Then down south, our sister, who's worked with us for years, Sister Jamie Lott, Minister Jamie uh, Oates, um, took over uh, for NCDC. So even on the West Coast, there's this transition of leaders, but um, everybody's doing a remarkable job. I got to take a moment to shout out, you know, Elder Styles, because their council a couple weeks ago was just ridiculous. You know, the anointing that was oozing through the screen. So shout out to them. I know they're setting the stage for what's going to happen in St. Louis, but right. do us a favor. Hit the share button, y'all. We're just talking tonight. Yeah. Um, I want to go back to something you talked about, though, um, Pastor Robinson. And, and, and Elder Marvin, you jumping on this as well, as far as the IPYP being the trendsetters, because everybody's popping up now and this is no shade to nobody that's doing anything as well um we have great colleagues shout out to our sister organizations i want to shout out cool jc 
who had a remarkable, remarkable youth experience a couple of weeks ago. Um, shout out to their president, shout out to their organization. It was just crazy to look at, just seeing all those heavyweights come together. What a remarkable worship experience. Shout out to PCAF, who's even this week having something going on. Uh, my good friend, um, Elder Ready Go Long, is speaking tonight out in Illinois. So shout out to them. Uh, Illinois State President was, was sharing tonight as well, uh, uh, Minister Raphael. So shout out to him, who was, who was sharing the word. But we talk about, you know, these new movements and these new things. The Bible tells nothing new under the sun. But IBYB has always had its place in being trendsetters as it relates to programming, as well as just being, you know, a remarkable organization to push youth ministry of all of our organizations all across the world. I was looking at old, you know, purpose books, and sometimes we had up to almost 10,000 constituents who would join us for these experiences all across, you know, um, the world, would descend upon a place. And, um, just remark when we think about the history of our great organization. So again, when we talk about where we've been, where we're going, you know, and we're talking about as well, where, you know, um, the IPYP, how we pivot in year 90 to go forward, you know, give me your thoughts about what you're seeing in the kingdom, both of you, what you're seeing in the kingdom, you know, as well as just the impact the IPYP has had on these things that some people may be fairly surprised is nothing new to us. Go ahead. Well, I, I just say, I mean, the um, Frida often talks about it, like the IPYPU going live in the 80s. Um, just some yeah. of the other things that we have, we have really set the, the trend when it comes to even pushing out a lot of our leading evangelists that are out there in the field um, or that have been on the field. You know, um, people who, who still keep an active PAW license, like evangelist Carolyn Showell and, and the Eye on the Lock, and she rest in peace. Uh, and uh, even who's, who's uh, the bishop, Jacqueline McCullough, who's preaching for us this summer, uh, she preached quite a bit for the PAW, the IPYPU back in the day. And so it's amazing to know now, like we have, we've always had the people, the speakers, we've always had um, the voices, you know, and a lot of people, even Brandon Clack, who's come out, there's quite a few who have come out, cut their teeth with the IPYPU and Pentecostal Assemblies of the World. We have a great heritage and I'm excited. I'm glad I'm, I've been grafted in uh, yeah. to this great body. And I've been a part of the PAW now since 2003. And I am grateful uh, to be a part of this body, to be licensed, preach my first message in the PAW church, licensed in the PAW church. Lord wills, I've started a PAW church. And so um, I'm excited to be a part of this this great organization and what it does and just the IPYPU, the birthing that happens in this in this youth ministry we have some of the best services at the convention we have some of the highest services and we have some of the, the greatest voices that have come out of the IPYPU. several presiding bishops have <laughs> come through the IPYPU, so why not support I'm right excited about this. yeah what about your thoughts um elder marvin as far as IPYPU being trendsetters Gang hey I, I really look at it as you, you're not stamped until we stamp you. Um, oh, man, so, talk about it. Talk about it, bro. And, and, talk about and once, it. you know, once we stamp you, then, you know, doors open up for you. You begin to go places. And so um, I, I look at our organization as uh, the organization that, that certifies it. Is it real or not? Um, you know, <laughs> <laughs> You know, every, I, I know people watch Snowfall, right? But in, in all the TV shows and anything that goes on, um, what they would do is they uh, they would do a test to see whether the stuff was real or not. And you come and God moves at the IPYPU, we say, oh, you got the real oil. Um, and so this week, we got people who got the real oil. We got Bishop Tillman. We got uh, Prophet Barbara Calloway. We got Pastor Clark. We got Pastor Shorter. Um, and God's just going to do, I really believe this, he's going to usher in what's happening in the organization, but also what's happening in the apostolic world um, here at this Columbus 90th celebration. We have the right here, we have the right time, we're watching revival begin to break out all over the country, um, and we all came together at this conference called Empowerment to be empowered. And I believe your church is going to take off because of what God deposits in you here. Your own life is going to be changed based on what happens here. Um, and so 
that's our place. That's that's who we are. We are the we are the certifying grounds um, for what is happening all over the country. So I, I, I'm telling you, you need to be there. You need to be there. You definitely need to meet us in Columbus, and I'm, I'm telling you all. Shout out to District Elder Christopher Collier. It was his brainchild of the Empowerment Conference to bring back, you know, a form of our. It used to be what was known as a Young People's Convention. And so he brought this vision back in 2009. We've been rocking with it ever since. So this is year 14 of the Empowerment Conference. And so um, what a blessed opportunity is for us to come together to rally. You know, when I think of IPYPU, sometimes, you know, people, you know, will accentuate and say things like, you know, it's a, the IPYPU is a, you know, a movement that's dying or that the PAW movements are dying. And I will just say this, you know, to all those who, you know, feel like, you know, our best days are behind us. I tell you, it's 90 years is no small feat because you see pop-ups all the time. You see people jump in the game, have momentum, and then leave, and then leave. You know, our commitment over the last 90 years to, you know, the stability and the empowerment of young people is to be commended. And um, shout out to our great organization. Shout out to our provider, uh, Bishop Theodore L. Brooks, um, for championing the cause of young people. Our auxiliary director, Bishop Lance Foster. Um, shout out to an organization that understands uh, the necessity of young people are championing um, us, amen, and providing us a direction and most importantly, the push um, to make sure that um, youth ministry remains relevant even in the 21st century. So again, our uh, sincere appreciation uh, to all those who are helping us make it behind the scenes. And to your point about how you're not stamped until we stamp you, I had a conversation with Bishop Younger and Bishop Younger, you know, told me, he was like, growing up, we all envy the IPYPU. We all wanted to preach happy wife. We all wanted to be part of that movement because um, we were the model. And so I will say this, that, you know, in a day where it seems like people are popping up and doing things like that, trust me, y'all, the Happy Wife you is not going anywhere. And I'm hoping that this conference will be the shot in the arm that we need for all of our various presidents and our various regions to take this fire and to go back into even greater work. So I'm looking forward to it, y'all. We are two days away. We started Wednesday night, again, April 26th. And then I'm leaving tomorrow to head to Columbus from the West Coast. And I know other people are making the journey as well. So gas up. You know, get your spirits together, y'all. Pray with us, fast with us Wednesday. And as we seek the part of God, that a word would come forth, that direction would come forth, that the impartation from our presenters, amen, uh, will, will, will uh, be lively. Um, and that most importantly, will leave us with a charge, amen, to take this mantle of ministry into the future. So I'm definitely paying for it. And I uh, appreciate everybody joining us tonight. We just wanted to pop on tonight and just kind of share some tidbits about what's going on in Columbus make plans to be here i mean if you you know if you are still looking for a room i, I know the block is out we may have one that we may be able to, <laughs> to spare for you um but hit definitely hit up pastor robinson and we'll see what we can do maybe get you at it um um behind the scenes but we're looking forward to this great move of god and uh, i just want to take a moment to thank you both you know pastor marvin and the programming team Mr. Tubbs, Angelica, Sister Ashley, oh, I know I'm missing some other people, all the ones who are there um, who are working behind the scenes and program our appreciation to you all. Pastor Robinson, appreciate your patience with us, making everything happen. Uh, we're looking forward to a great time in Columbus. Any parting words, y'all, before we get up out of here tonight? Pray with us, fast with us, and uh, maybe Jake used to say it, get ready, get ready, get ready. Um, so I want y'all to get ready, man. It's, it's coming. Empowerment is here. Um, EC90 is here. And some of the answers you've been looking for, you're going you're gonna to receive them here. The deposit you need from God, you're going to get it here. So I can't wait. Pastor Robinson, any final thoughts before we get out of here? I just say, just come with an expectancy for God to save souls. Yeah. Believe God to save five souls. I don't know why I said five. It could be three, but I'm believing God for five souls this week that God will do it through this weekend that souls will be saved, lives will be touched and delivered. And even, hallelujah, that we would take the fire that we get there and bring it back to our local congregation. So let's let's come with the mindset that God is going to save souls. I'm coming to get something, but I'm coming to give something as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I'm telling y'all, that's always been my prayer. This is just real transparency. Every event that we've had, it's always been, I saved someone. Who would have thought that going to a workers' conference, that God would fill two of the gifts of the Holy Ghost? Who would have thought going to Belize, uh, in partnership, that God would take 20 young people down in Jesus' name and give 10 the gift of the Holy Ghost. So every time we come together, it's with intentionality. If if the if the big name preacher shows up, 
cool. If, if the dope worship band and stuff is there, cool. But if the Lord himself don't build the house, just like Bishop Howe talked about. Come on, sir. <laughs> Come on, sir. This weekend, man, we are in trouble. So I need y'all to commit to prayer, commit to fasting, commit to, amen, uh, seeking the heart of God. Amen. That with intention, we come to do what God does. And that's save young people so that they can take this gospel further. So I'm excited, y'all. We're looking forward to it. I stand in agreement with you, Pastor Robinson. I am believing God he'll do it. He's been doing it at my personal church in Los Angeles. Amen. The waters have been troubled. It seems like there's been an awakening, a renaissance of people who want baptism in Jesus' name, who want the gift of the Holy Ghost, who want change, who want to be reclaimed. Come up out of the cave, y'all. Don't sit on the couch this weekend. Let me, let, me, let me say this before we get out of here. Don't sit on the couch this weekend. Oh, I'll just catch it. I'll just catch it. There are some experiences that you can only experience when you are in person. All right. Don't let the TV fool you. I mean, I, I got it. We got comfortable in the pandemic, but I want you to get up, get dressed, put on deodorant, brush your teeth, gas up the pacer, get to Columbus, get to Church of Christ, Bishop Hill Rayford's Church. We are coming with anticipation because there is a word from the Lord. There is a move of God that can only be tangibly experienced when we're in person. So we're looking forward to seeing you do your part. Be there. I can't wait to see you. Again, April 26th and 29th in Columbus, Ohio, Church of Christ. Thanks for being with us tonight. Welcome again to the Happy Happy Universe. Love y'all. See y'all in a couple of days, y'all. Peace. Peace.